What's up Libras? Welcome to your full in-depth love reading from now until March 3rd, 2020. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you guys don't know how to find those placements in your chart, there will be a link in the description box below if you guys want to put it together and figure it out. Do keep in mind this is a general reading, guys. It's not going to resonate with every single Libra every single time, but y'all know I tried to get the most information and the most messages as possible for you guys. And if you're new to the channel, we do go in with the after tarot at the end for future predictions. Those can manifest three to six months ahead. And then we do go in with the terror of sexual magic. So if there's any third parties, any shady behavior showing up in your love reading, these cards will definitely reveal if there is a third party, if it is sexual, if it's a platonic, whatever it may be, um, whether you're single or taken, it will give you a lot more information regarding your love life in general. This is the second time trying to do this reading for you guys, and it did kind of seem like the same energy as last month I believe it was so hopefully there's still some type of deceptive energy coming out so let's see let's see guys positive vibes let's do this for Libra Sun Moon Rising and Venus in love I'm gonna focus on love but you guys can certainly pertain it to anything else going on in your lives all right so let's see Libra's What's going on with Libra's in love spirit from now until March 3rd, 2020? Let me know when they're ready. Libra's in love spirit. What's going on with Libra's in love from now until March 3rd, 2020 spirit? One more. Oh no. Okay, keep in mind general, guys, general, general, general. The only way to get a reading to 100% resonate with you in your situation is to get a personal reading and all information about personal readings is down below. Interesting. So the overall energy, Libra, is the devil. Okay, so there may be, the devil could literally be anything. It could be negative thinking habits. It could be control. It could be manipulation. You see how he's like controlling somebody here? And it's like a, a, an attractive person, attra an attractive male kind of like controlling this person's mind. Okay, so it very well could be that. Very well could be drug addiction. It very well could be alcohol addiction. It very well could be codependency. Literally could be anything here. Okay. Definitely looks like... It's definitely got something to do with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or money here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, possibly money... But some type of negative online communication or internet communication, something here going on online or some type of controlling communication or something with money. So let's see what comes out. We're going to clarify everything to give you guys the most information as possible. So let's see what's up. Wow. Okay. Present energy right now, Libra, three of cups. So there's... Okay. For some of y'all, Libra, you may even be getting word of somebody partying, somebody drinking, somebody into negative things, okay? This could be even friends, this could be family, this could be a lover, okay? Somebody over, over partying, you know, overindulging in drugs, alcohol, celebrations, whatever it may be here. I don't know why I'm getting like a controlling group of friends or people. That may be for some of you. Maybe even online or something to do with money here. Okay. But the present situation right now, it looks like somebody is reuniting with someone. Okay. We'll clarify and we will see. Unless this is just a celebration, get together. Let's see. So thoughts and concerns for Libra, what you're thinking about, what you're concerned about. You may be very emotionally overwhelmed, not really sure what to do, not really sure what the right thing 
is to do. Emotional confusion, kind of fantasy land here. This is worrying me right off the bat because this is drugs, drugs, alcohol. So somebody may be getting word of this or news of this, overindulgence, but... If we take that out of the equation and then that's not your story, present energy right now, somebody's definitely reuniting with someone, okay, in love or someone that they love. Thoughts and concerns, you could be thinking and concerned about somebody having many different options within love or this is just an overwhelming concerned feeling, not really sure what to do, emotional confusion. You could also be thinking and concerned about fantasizing about someone or something, okay? So let's see. The basis of the reading for Libra, which is sometimes the advice, very interesting, the magician reversed. Manipulation. I forget. I believe Scorpio just got this, so might want to watch the Scorpio video if you're dealing with one, sun, moon, or rising. Um, so Libra, you may not be manifesting what it is you want into your life right now, okay? Or there's some manipulation going on here. Some manipulation and some BS. So let's see. In the recent past for Libra, we have the Eight of Swords reversed. So in the recent past, someone got out of their head and someone was seeing a situation clearly. Okay. Somebody was seeing things for what it was. This could also be somebody getting out of, this is not going to be for everybody, but I have to mention it. This could also be somebody getting out of jail, reconnecting with someone. Okay. Obviously not for everybody, but in the recent past, someone got out of their head. Somebody wasn't able to see straight. Now somebody's trying to get out of their head or somebody's gotten out of their head and sees the situation for what it is here. And it looks like somebody's realized the situation about reconciling with someone or a third party. Okay, so let's see what's going on. So what's crossing you, Libra? This could be holding you back or pushing you forward, negatively or positively, however it resonates for you guys. But damn, we have the wheel. So this is in the universe's control. This is fate. This is destiny. Um, this reuniting, whomever this is reuniting is with for you guys, this is destined. This is meant to be. Um, what's also crossing you is positive changes. Okay, positive changes with reuniting in this relationship, whatever relationship this may be, okay? Um, so positive changes are either holding you back or pushing you forward. Interesting. So let's see, going into the near future, this most definitely is a prediction. This may play out by March 3rd. It could also exceed depending on your situation, but also depending on your own free will. So let's see. Ooh, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So going into the near future, someone may very well end up single, um, but doing very, very, very well financially. Um, or this is somebody that's going to be in a relationship doing very well financially. Either way, we'll figure it out here. All right, let's see. Other situations that Libra may be going through right now. We have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, money stuff. You could be dealing with money stuff. See, that's what I thought before. Toxic things with money here. Toxic situations with money or job or how money is being spent. Okay, but dealing with money, dealing with material things, dealing with a new job, dealing with a new career path, whatever it may be here. Okay. Let's see. Let's keep going. So external to Libra. This is anybody in your environment. This could be friends, family, lovers, husbands, wives, boyfriends, girlfriends. Absolutely anybody. Very well could be a Leo. Sun, moon, or rising, but this person externally to you, Libra, they seem very free-spirited. They could even be illuminating something for you, showing you the truth, um, or this person externally to you is just very, very, very positive, very happy, okay? Let's see. So, hopes and fears for Libra. 
what you're hoping and what you're fearing, okay? I'm assuming you're hoping or fearing somebody not putting the work in to a relationship. Somebody not doing the work needed here. I'm hearing giving up. Let's see. The outcome for Libra. Interesting. From now until March 3rd, we have the world reversed. So there's going to be a delay with a big completion. Okay. Karmic lesson not being learned here. Something not coming together. So let's see what this is. Let's see what's going on. Keep in mind, overall energy is the devil. It's got something to do with money or quick, fast communication, internet communication, something online. This is very crazy. Very crazy. I don't like that on the bottom. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on, Libra. Let's clarify for Libra's spirit. These are pre-shuffled, but y'all know I keep going until I get that vibe from spirit. Clarify for Libra's spirit from now until March 3rd. All right, let's see. Why is the Eight of Swords reversed in the recent past for Libra's? So somebody was saw the recent... I can't even speak. Somebody not telling the truth. Okay, so in the recent past for Libra's, somebody got out of their head and was seeing the truth of a situation or about somebody. So let's see. Why is the Eight of Swords, or somebody was just getting out of their head in general. Why is the Eight of Swords reversed in the recent past for Libras? It's definitely got something to do with work. Work and recovery. So it looks like in the recent past, somebody realized, got out of their head. Maybe took a break from somebody. It definitely looks like somebody took a break from someone and realized that they needed to put the work in. Somebody took a break from someone or something and realized that they needed to put the work in here. And we definitely have somebody that may be married or in a relationship, okay, or living with someone. I'm not going to clarify the past too much. That's a lot of information. What matters is moving forward, so we're going to move forward. You got two eights in the recent past, so that's definitely money. Money, money, money. So let's see why the Three of Cups is the present energy. So somebody definitely could be reuniting with someone. I am worried because the overall energy is the devil, and then we have the Three of Cups and the Seven. So this definitely could be codependency, drug addictions, alcohol abuse, anything like that. So let's see what's going on. Unless this is just the present energy, somebody is reuniting with someone that they love. Why is the Three of Cups or getting together with somebody that they love? Partying with somebody that they love. Why is the Three of... Look at this. Victory, success, and attention with reuniting with someone, Libra. So somebody definitely may be... Yeah, it looks like somebody's reuniting with someone. After the tower came in, caused some chaos, and somebody knows that there's toxic negative energy that they need to get out of, okay? So maybe somebody is hoping for positive changes in this relationship, hoping for positive changes to push them forward, okay? So let's see. Let's see why the magician is reversed. Why is the... Okay. Okay. Yeah, somebody's... Okay, this is what I'm getting. I feel like somebody was communicating... Someone was definitely communicating with someone here, but someone's not... It very well could have been manipulative communication. Someone could also be been being manipulative about a child as well, or being manipulative about good news. Okay. Aries Leo Sag, Gemini Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Interesting. We'll definitely clarify that with the Tarot of Sexual Magic because I want to know more. 
Well, this definitely looks like manipulative communication or somebody talking. Somebody all talk and no action. So let's see. Why is the wheel crossing Libra? So positive changes. Somebody taking risks. Positive risks. Making positive changes. Either holding you back or pushing you forward. Let's see. Why is the wheel crossing Libras from now until March 3rd? Wow. Okay. Two major arcanas crossing you, Libra. So these are major life lessons. Um, I don't believe somebody is listening to their intuition about making positive changes. This is what's holding you back. Somebody's not listening to those gut feelings about somebody changing here. Interesting. So let's see why the Seven of Cups is in your thoughts and concerns. So you literally could be thinking and concerned about fantasizing about someone, someone fantasizing about you, what you're going to do next. You could be re really confused in general. You could be thinking and concerned that somebody has a lot of different options within love, but not really sure what to do. So let's see. Why is the Seven of Cups in Libra's thoughts and concerns spirit? Yeah, two sevens. Very interesting. So, somebody's really, you're thinking and concerned about being emotionally overwhelmed and not sure whether or not you should give up on somebody or not. You know, should I give up on this person or this thing that I put all my time and effort and energy into? I don't know what to do. So, there's confusion. You also may be thinking and concerned about the situation with this person going round and round in circles like the same old thing or the situation is just not moving forward with this person. Definitely could be money wise. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Could be Sun, Moon or Rising. So let's see why the Page of Pentacles is here for other current situations. So definitely dealing with money, okay? Dealings with money. Be careful because we've got the devil here. It's almost like somebody controlling someone's money as well. Like, th this is crazy. Let's see. Why is the Page of Pentacles here for other situations that Libra may be dealing with or going through in love? Wow. Okay. So Libra... This definitely could be you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But it looks like somebody's got a big decision to make about money, about a new job, about something materialistic, okay? Or about a child. Someone's really stuck in their head about this. Let's see. Let's keep going. Okay. Oh my goodness, we got the tower falling out. So chaos, drama, this is the universe again, okay? Two major arcanas here. Whatever is not built on solid foundation is going to crumble. The universe is going to come in, crash it down. Let's see, why is the tower here for Libras from now until March 3rd in love? Oh, damn. This definitely could be a breakup. For some Libra, from now until March 3rd, somebody may also have something to confess. And things may be a mess, very chaotic. Uh, definitely could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. It's definitely got some, may have something to do with money as well. Okay. Whew. Let's see. This could be about quitting a job as well. Let's see. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here going into the near future for Libras? So it definitely looks like somebody is going to either be single and doing very well financially or just doing very well financially in a relationship. So let's see. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here going into the near future? Well... Going into the near future, somebody is, somebody seems very controlling regarding their money. 
someone in the near future, excuse me, is going to be taking their power back, taking control. Very controlling with money. But this is also somebody going into the near future that's going to take responsibility, stand up, take their control back, take their power back, and be very successful financially. Okay. Aries energy going into the near future. Um, whew. Going into the near future as well, there may be secrets revealed, okay? Or you may express how you feel Libra to somebody, or somebody may express how they feel to you. But still, there's something we're not seeing clearly. So let's see. Why is the sun external to Libra? So... It could be a leap. This person could be very free-spirited. This person could be very positive. This person could be, you know, showing you the light, showing you the truth. Um, let's see. Why is the sun, or who is the sun, external? Okay, did you see that? It is definitely a relationship. So this person externally to you may be happy that a relationship has ended. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they have blocked communication as well. This person externally to you. Yeah, it looks like they've got a third party here. So Leo, Aries, and Capricorn energy externally. But again, it could be any sign. I just like naming them for you guys. So let's see why the Eight of Pentacles is in Libra's hopes and fears. So hoping or fearing somebody's not going to put the work into a relationship. Look at that. Someone not putting the work into a relationship that ended due to a third party. Also fearing a relationship ending here. Fearing somebody not making the right choice within a relationship. Dang. Somebody not moving forward either. And look at that. Hoping or fearing lies, cheating, stealing, deception. Look, somebody's like hoping for this. It's almost like somebody's hoping somebody will cheat here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius. Wow. Very interesting. So let's see why the world reverses the outcome and then we'll get into the other cards. Okay. Okay. So the outcome, Libra, there's going to be delay with the truth coming out. There's going to be a delay with communication. There's going to be a delay with somebody telling the truth. So it looks like the outcome, it looks like a conversation or the truth or something can put something to rest, can put something to peace, can put something to an end here. Very interesting. It's definitely good to do with family, stability, money. Secrets coming out about family, stability, money. Someone that cannot walk away from somebody that they've given up on. Someone's really, really, really stuck and trapped in their head here. So the overall energy is, you know, negative. Somebody may be constantly negatively thinking, you know, should I reach out to someone? Should I not? What should I do here? Dang, Libra, this is, this is heavy. Um, what is Libra not seeing clearly? It's like you guys saw it in the recent past. What is Libra not seeing clearly? Or their partner. Okay, so you guys know what this toxic energy is. You know what it is. It could be negative thinking, 
negative communication, somebody being controlling, somebody being manipulative, drug use, alcohol use, whatever it may be here. Somebody knows. Somebody knows that they've got to get themselves out of it and that they have to heal from it. It's just somebody has to make that decision. Someone's very impatient and frustrated as well over a marriage or relationship here. But let's see. Tell me again about the world reversed. What is this communication? What is this truth for Libra's outcome? What is this conversation... Well, it's almost like somebody's going to be avoiding, yeah, somebody's going to be delaying the truth, delaying an outcome here, delaying a second chance, delaying communication with somebody here, delaying positive changes. Something's going to be unjust, unfair, wrong. Aries Leo Sag, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. All right, let's go in with the Tarot of Sexual Magic and see if we can get some more on this person externally. Whew. Let's see, what is the, actually, yeah, let's see what this, okay. All right, this is definitely sexual Libra. Definitely sexual relationships, okay? Aries Leo Sag energy. Yep. So this may be the unfair sexual relationships or third parties that somebody dealt with. Okay, something unjust, something unfair. Definitely betrayal, pain, hurt. From those third parties here. Let's see. Who is this person externally to Libra? With the sun and the two of cups reversed. I don't think this person, if you're in a relationship with this person, or if you have some type of business partnership with this person, or friendship with this person, I feel like they're not telling you the, the full truth. Yeah, see, they've... Interesting. They're not confused anymore. They're not fantasizing anymore, this person externally. Things aren't, oh, God. Yeah, th this person externally, things are not going in their favor here. Or they're just not moving forward because they're holding on to heartbreak and pain. Or you guys aren't moving forward with them because you guys are holding on to the heartbreak, the pain, separation. Interesting. Definitely looks like they're in a relationship. Tell me more about this person externally to Libras. Jeez. Yeah. They have love here with somebody. They have love here with someone and it's not changing. There could also be pregnancies here as well. Especially with the Emperor here. Okay. Who, who do they have love for? Who does this person external to Libra have love for? Well, they are trying to play games here. It very well could be... A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very well could have to do with money as well. This could be the person or the situation, the material situation that you've got to make a decision about. But look at, okay, somebody is definitely like trying to get this girl drunk. She's almost burning her finger. This guy's like, just look at him. Could be a girl as well for some, but somebody's playing games. Especially with money. Somebody's not making positive changes here. Mm -mm. And I definitely see another relationship externally. Dang, Libra. 
Okay. Okay. So somebody's starting to come out of, somebody was obsessive and possibly even possessive. Somebody's starting to come out of that energy a little bit. Um, it was definitely regarding cheating. Okay, so somebody's not obsessing over the fact so much anymore. Somebody's trying to get over the fact that somebody cheated on them here. Interesting. Scorpio energy there. Let's see. What else does Libra need to know? Yep. There was a third party. I think they're finally going away here. I almost feel like... Uh, Somebody needs to tell the truth. Someone needs to tell the truth, especially about money. So let's see. What is this truth in the outcome for Libras? Yeah, see? Somebody's going to be stuck and not learning the karmic lesson here. Somebody's going to be stuck and not completing something. Somebody's going to be stuck and not ending something. Like somebody's going to want to, somebody's going to be stuck on, you know, communication or the truth or wanting to give someone a second chance here. Somebody's not going to be learning this karmic lesson. There we go. Again, somebody not listening to their intuition when it comes to positive changes and possibly a sexual relationship here. Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What else does Libra need to know? Oh my. Somebody definitely could have been stalking, spying, trying to figure things out. Tell me about this Knave of Swords reverse. If somebody has a big attitude. Tell me about this Knave of Swords reversed. Yeah. I think somebody's still really pissed off and can't stop thinking about what happened. Thinking about the situation over and over and over. Somebody really wants to communicate with someone. Somebody really wants to tell someone something. It's right here. Somebody wants a second chance, but they're stuck. They can't move forward. They can't learn the karmic lesson. They can't put something to an end. Somebody really wants to tell someone something here. But somebody's just holding in their feelings. I feel like somebody wants to tell someone they want to get... What does somebody want to say? Yeah, I feel like they don't, they want to start over. Somebody wants to start over with somebody else. That's what I feel like here. Look, secrets. Someone not telling the truth, Libra. Somebody's like losing chemistry or passion with someone. Somebody like wants to give up here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Tell me about the moon. What are these secrets for Libra from now until March 3rd? Damn. Okay. I still feel like there needs to be communication about this third party or whatever happened. Like emotions need to need to be expressed here. Someone is not communicating. Oh gosh, I didn't want that to flip out, you guys. Okay, so for some... Someone's not seeing that there's a third party here. Taurus, Aries, Libra... Okay. For others, I feel like this is somebody needs to gain their self esteem back. Somebody needs to not feel so bad for themselves. Somebody needs to wake up and see what's going on and actually believe in themselves. Believe that they're beautiful. Believe that they're abundant. Believe that they're good enough here. There could be like baby father, baby father and baby mother stuff going on here that someone does not know about or somebody's just turning a blind eye to. Tell me about that Empress Reverse for Libras.
Someone is just not emotionally happy. There it is again. Unbelievable. Eight of Swords reversed again. Somebody knows that devil is there. Someone knows. Somebody sees the truth. Somebody's going to start over here. Holy crap. There definitely needs to be or there will be a discussion about a marriage or about a relationship or about somebody living with someone. And somebody's going to want to start over here. There's definitely somebody peering into your relationship, Libra, or you're doing this to somebody else. Definitely could have been a lot of fighting and arguing about the lies, the cheating. We've got Leo energy. Aries. Uh, I think somebody needs to tell the truth. Somebody's stuck not telling the truth. Yep. Yeah. King of Cups reverse. So somebody's being emotionally manipulative here. Somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody's being emotionally manipulative about putting the work in. See? Someone is really, someone really wants to tell someone something. I don't know if that's you, Libra. Or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But look, manipulative communication here. Or this is like manipulation about a child. Tell me about this magician reverse with the page of wands, please, for Libras. Tell me about the magician. Did I say manipulation reverse? Yeah, see? Somebody may be communicating with someone very passionately and very sexually, but they're lying. It's like all talk. So somebody definitely could still be communicating with a third party here, but the passion is just, it's not there anymore. Somebody wants to, somebody's given up here. So it's like somebody's checked out. Someone could be very manipulative, very controlling, very unhappy. Dang, Libra, that's intense. All right, let's do future predictions. I mean, the overall energy is negative, toxic energy or... I mean, this could even be an abusive relationship for some. Or just a toxic relationship in general for some. No matter what kind of relationship it is. So let's see. Let's do future predictions for Libra. Keep in mind these can manifest three to six months ahead. So what? Oh my god, you have got to be kidding, Libra. Whatever this toxic energy is, you've got to get yourselves out of it. Look, someone taking a break from this. Someone either taking a break from a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or somebody taking a break from someone who is toxic as shit. Damn. It looks like somebody either, someone may need to go into recovery, or somebody may need to just take a break and, and heal themselves here. Dang. All right. Let's see. What else does Libra need to know in the near future, Spirit? Page of Pentacles. So something is going to get turned down here. What other, for other current situations, whatever you're dealing with material wise, whatever you have to make a decision about money wise, somebody's going to turn this down. Somebody could even turn down this person that's being sneaky. Okay, somebody knows that somebody's being sneaky here. Yep, taking a break. Somebody's got a big decision to make and a break to take. Especially regarding a marriage. Or a relationship here. What else does Libra need to know? Look at that. Someone finally making a decision and learning the karmic lesson. But look, 
Somebody is being manipulative as shit. I feel like somebody is avoiding healing, avoiding fixing things, avoiding taking action, avoiding doing the right thing. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius. See, what is this decision? Tell me about... Good God. Well, it's, it looks like somebody's going to refuse to be taken advantage of. Somebody doesn't want to be taken advantage of anymore. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Libra. What is this decision? Tell me about the Two of Pentacles reverse. Okay. Someone's going to make a decision, or someone will make a decision to stay and keep putting work into something here. It's what you're thinking concerned about. Somebody's going to make a decision to not do something in a sneaky way here. Somebody may even make a decision to apologize or express emotion. Someone may even express that they're not emotionally happy because of a third party situation. And someone may end up blocking communication. Damn. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there. Tell me what else Libra needs to know. Someone is going to be walking away here. Aries, Leo, Sag, there may be bad news. Yep, somebody's going to feel some pain, some regret, some remorse. Someone's going to realize something here emotionally and mentally. Page of Cups reverse. Someone's just not happy. It's like somebody's like, I'm not working on this anymore. I'm not doing this isn't working anymore. I'm blocking communication. But somebody's definitely holding on to a lot of burdens or like keeping this to themselves. And look, somebody will be dealing with someone at a distance. Somebody has love for someone at a distance here. Somebody's not letting go, Libra. Holy shit. You guys will know how it goes. Alright, let's see. Best advice for Libras regarding the situation, Spirit. Keep in mind, you guys have got free will. Best advice for Libras regarding the situation. Best advice for Libras. Regarding the situation. Okay. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We have children. Your love life is being affected by children. We also have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You guys will know. We also have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And we have wedding. This situation involves a marriage. On the bottom we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And then we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I think feelings need to be talked about here. But I feel like someone is controlling. And then you've got children as a factor and someone needing to love themselves and believe in themselves so there may need to be a break taken here you guys will know how it goes let's see best advice for libras or questions libras may be thinking that are led and drawn to this video okay that's beautiful we have this situation will improve and it will on the bottom we have let go okay let's do one more questions libras may be thinking that are led and guided to this video. Answers to those questions. 
We have asked for help from others. We also have recovery, taking a break, time to yourself, and then we have your ready. Also, in the near future, ask your angels and meditation brings answers. And then we are going to do this. If Libra's partner or love interest had something to say to them, what would they say, spirit? If Libra's partner or love interest had something to say, what would they say? They would say, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course on the bottom. They would say, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Look at that. Free yourself. Definitely think like think there needs to be a break taken here. That's what it sounds like. And then one more. One more. We've got sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Actually, let's do two more. <laughs> Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. All right, and that's what I've got for you, Libra. Definitely like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all later. Take care.